you know, there was a whole realm of, of um, conditions that the miners were facing, not just, you know, hearing loss is just a typical one, that if you run into a group of old miners, you can be assured of a number of things. Most will be um, deaf, they will suffer from circulatory problems, probably white hand or white foot, and then often is that because of the, the vibration or the vibration. The vibration. Okay. Yeah, lots of because it breaks down the circulatory components in mm -hmm. the hands and often in the feet if they're standing on staging or a lot of them will put their foot on their hoses uh, of the jack leg drill in, in this particular uh, vein. You know, the, the vein mining and the, the early days in the gold mines it was the fine chasing the vein type of mining, cut and feel. So um, they would just, you know, put a lot of vibration on their body to the point where, you know, they had real problems with either white hand, uh, Raynaud syndrome it's called, or white foot and other, the, other circulatory And what are the issues. symptoms of white hand? Uh, numbness in the hands, the hands turning completely white when it gets cold, uh, pain in the hands, but but the numbness is a key that they often talk about, that they'll be holding a coffee mug, for example, and will drop it and won't realize how tight they're mm -hmm. holding something or not. So that, that was always a problem. And then many of them, you know, they, it's, it's you know pretty hard on the body in the old mining mining ways, especially depending on the type of mining you're doing and the ore body you're chasing. Uh, if it's salt or nickel, you're, it's all product, you know. But if it's gold or uh, other fine vein uh, type of mineral, then, you know, it's usually in a very confined space and often it can be. I know that they're doing different techniques today, but um, there was a lot of uh, back issues and shoulders and backs and knees and arthritis. You know, most will uh, be suffering from the dampness as well. Um, but I can also tell you that if there's a miner that has to come up from underground because of health reasons, they grieve because they come up from underground. 90% of them love it so much that it's in their blood, in their heart, and it's the camaraderie, it's, it's the environment, it's the just love of what they do, the mining and the bond that they have with the other workers, that they, I, I experienced they were lost when they came up. And it really affected them in, in pretty profound ways, that they wanted to be down underground. It was in their blood to be underground. So, you know, for all that you can say that, you know, there's risks and hazards, there's certainly the miner today just has a love and passion for mining that um, I see they carry with them their entire lives.